Hello everybody and welcome back. Yeah, we are really excited to play in the holiday season another Kohemer battle with uh, at least one unusual army which uh, was um, not very often used back then. Uh, it's the Chinstiller Kalt. Um, so, of course, we are lacking most uh, second edition era models. I think there were some. I I think there weren't any published at this period of time. I think they were back in Rogue Trader. There were some metal um, Chinsida Kite miniatures and also I think a Patriarch on a throne and uh, old Marcus. Uh, but today it's a Corner Bet Report, so only 400 points, only basic troop choices, no heroes, uh, and we added a few of the actual models to. Um, Acquire the 400 points. And the Chinsida Kite will fight um, against another famous um, Space Marine chapter, the Blood Angels. We hope you enjoy the coming battle. Okay, these are exactly 400 points of Alex Blood Angels. As you can see, there are two combat squads. First of them is an assault squad led by a veteran sergeant with a power fist and power sword additional to his bolt pistol and frequent frag grenades. And the one who has got a power sword has really got a power sword. All of the other threes only have chain swords and all of them have got bolt pistols together with their frequent frag grenades. And this is a combat squad of a devastator squad. As you can see, if you take a closer look at the Blue helmets, two heavy bolters included without hellfire, and the only other additional expense were the two points left for a chain sword for the sergeant. And these are my 400 points for today. And these are exactly 400 points of Chinzilla Kite Forces. Um, the only second edition era models are the six Chintzillas, which are in lance formation, like the Bretonians, in order to charge into the enemy. Um, furthermore, I have a squad of eight Chintzilla hybrids neophytes, um, that are the guys which have a higher weapon skill. And according to that, they are equipped with less pistols and swords each. The yeah, leader of the brood carries a power axe. And six of them are equipped with flamers. Um, so and everybody except for these yeah. two. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, I've got another squad of Chinsula hybrids, but this time but this time they are acolytes, which means they have a slightly better ballistic skill. So I included three heavy bolters to um, vaporize the blood angels. Okay, and this is our Second Demon World Terra. As you can see, it's our regular 40 by this time, uh, nearly 40 inches. And story is that it was an Elder Maiden World colonized by the Imperium, but suddenly the contact was lost. And so the Blood Angels, a small force of Blood Angels, was dispatched find out what had happened to the imperial citizens and as always uh, we'll count the points within three inches of our objective by the end of turn four and the one who's got more points within will have one so all of our armies are forced to move not just stand and shoot okay let's roll in order to see who goes first Alex has got three. I think it's. And I've got three, three as well. The highest Spanish rating. Yeah. Okay, so we might have to start with the first turn. Yeah. But it might be I good to so have the last this turn. kind yeah. of um, rules because if you have the last turn, you can snatch maybe the um, objective in your last turn and the opponent can't react to it. Ok, 
Okay, we are back after the movement phase of my first turn. As you can see, they didn't move at all in order to be able to target the first squad. I think this is the squad with the flamers. Mm -hmm. And they went on overwatch. First I thought about a daring jump towards the enemy using my frag grenades, but I think if only a single gene steal is alive, then probably I won't even kill a single one of them. <laughs> They will be torn apart. Okay, otherwise flamed. So let's do some shooting as we don't have close combat or psychic phase or stuff like that. Two heavy bolters onto the first squad. They hit him on two splomp here. Yeah. Because they have targeters included. So two hits. Meaning four plus ten fire in total. Yeah, this will this will produce lots of of gems. <laughs> Alex has already offered to look for the gem markers. So okay, two. two. That's not bad on the first one, and a gem and two. Four hits in total and one gem. Okay, let's say one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. One each. Strength toughness probably two plus, plus the first four. one. Yep, second one. Oh, they're really close. And the fourth one. Yeah, and because of our uh, core units, most of these units, the horde armies, can't benefit from a character's leadership. Yeah, and I think you have to take a break first because we want mm -hmm. our 50%. Oh, they are broken. 15 is a lot. So they will they flee towards the next, to the next cover. cover maybe. Also over there. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We just have to flee some 2d6 or 3d6 towards the closest cover okay. available. Okay, and that's the end of my first turn. Okay, end of the first turn of the Gene Stealer cult. Um, my Acolytes. Um, do the same as Marcus does with his um, jump marines. They went on overwatch because there was not a single target visible to them. Whereas my Chinstilla ran 10 inches uh, slightly in cover of the um, bunker to um, get out of sight of the heavy bolter, the remaining heavy bolter which is not jammed. Whereas my four um, new fights remained in cover and now at the end of my turn I tried to rally them. They have leadership of 8, so let's check, no, they are still broken. And stay behind the bunker. Okay, I dared to move my assault squad to have it jump a little out of the forest. I hope I'm still 12 away from the gene stealers and nevertheless uh, within my 16 inches of bolt pistol range, but Alex has got three heavy bolters on overwatch. Yeah. And normally they will hit on fours, but uh, Marcus is emerging from cover outside of the Edgewich wood, so I will only hit on fives. Okay, one hit. Yeah. Two sustain fire. Okay, four, four hits. hits. Can I just shape it on four different ones or only on three ones? Because uh, only if, if you say you've targeted the yeah. middle and then you've got at least another two. Okay, within. two on the middle one. Yeah. Five versus three plus. plus four, three stoned. So one wound on this guy. Mm -hmm. And on this one. No. And on that one. Yes. Okay. okay, then two so of them have got the chains on a five For the to armor pass save. the armor save. The power armor, no one is dead. And the other one. Yeah, he saved. But one space marine lost. Oh. One out of ten. And it didn't roll a chain, which nice. is uh, very good. I <laughs> hope this was worth the gamble. Okay, let's see. Then I've got one, two, three, four, but we have to measure first. Oh, let's do the heavy bolter first. Yeah, I think that's more, that's my, that yeah. makes more sense. Okay, the heavy bolter. Hitting on two. 
Yep. Hopefully not two James. Ooh, for it. For it. Two on him, two on him. Uh -huh. And it's three. It's three plus. Two three plus, plus. Yeah. yeah. First one is down and the second one. Yeah. Uh, and now let's try and see if the others are in range. With the 16, this one on this one maybe. This one for sure. This one on two. So let's say the first one won't hit. The second one will hit this one. So three hits, yeah. And the other one as well. Okay. And now we've got three times on three. Wow. Three hits. Yeah, but now it's four, four plus. plus. Two. two and I think you've got a safe because you've got five plus. I think you've got five so plus. Six plus armor yeah. safe. Oh, one saved. And one is down. So they probably have to take a break test as well. Yeah, I think they're immune to psychology, but still have to take a break test, but have a rather leadership of 10. Oh. So, yeah, they hold. Okay. And that's it for my second turn. Okay, end of my second turn. Um, my uh, neophytes managed to rally at the end of Marcus' phase, and so now in my second turn they can move again against the enemy. Meat shield in front of your um, chain stealers. They, but they needed the half of the crew is wiped out already, so they will use their um, less pistols in order to shoot at the blood angels, and the three reporters will try again their luck and shoot at the blood angels. Uh, one of the reporters is blocked by hard cover, so he will only hit on sixes, and the other two's hits on four. Okay, start with the bolters. Two times hitting on four. Yeah, one hit. And this one hits on six. No. Okay, the one, one will hit. probably be sufficient to wipe the two out, which can be seen. Okay, three. Three hits. So two on the two sergeant. And yeah. one. Two on the sergeant. Um, five versus four. And three three plus. plus. So one wound. And one wound. Each one has one wound. Okay, uh, five plus armor save for the veteran sergeant. No, he's dead. And five plus, yep, oh, the regular marine managed. But this okay. is a heavy loss. Then four times hitting with the last pistol because of the long range. They suffer an additional yeah. minus one to hit, so they will hit only on sixes. Oh, two of them hit. Yeah, strength toughness, strength five plus. Strength, so five plus the wound, so one wound. One wound. No safe modifier, so. But I need a three plus. Yeah. yeah, luckily. Okay. Now I have to do a practice as well. Yeah. That's the point where they regret having jumped out of the forest <laughs> so early. Okay. And they are on, on, on eight because the veteran, there. the veteran sergeant died. I think he would have had nine. Okay. That's the end of my second turn. Okay, we're at the end of the movement phase of my third turn. As you can see, my Devastators went on Overwatch. Both of them can't see each other or are out of range in case of the sergeant with his bolt gun. It's only 24 inches, so they can't target them. And just went on Overwatch to be able to maybe hit the gene stealers. If they decide to move towards the objective in turn four. Whereas I was really uh, torn between lots of different options with them. First I thought jump forwards and throw some grenades, but uh, threat grenades against chain stealers would be nonsense. So I think the best can forget cockless combat against chain stealers as well. So the best option is probably to do some rapid fire. So at least I've got six shots at strength four on three plus mm -hmm. four hit. Would be suffice. Okay, four times strength four versus your probably toughness three should be on threes. 
Oh, one. Okay, one survived. Three, three and eight. Mm. That's it. First the first three. three. So you've got the power X guy X. left as well as three chink stealers. But I think he has to take another break test. Oh, which he won't pass. Yeah. And now because it's only one model, I think he will definitely win in cover. Mm -hmm. And can only really increase of Double one. one. Oh. Okay. That's the end of my third turn. And the one in the open will now probably be shot. End of my third turn, my acolytes decided to move. Um, it's a clever uh, situation thus, because yeah, now they cover the their, objective. Uh, ability to shoot with their weapons, but now they have a better view on the objective and can maybe vaporize some assault marines <laughs> which try to approach the critical mission objective. My chinsters remained basically where they were and at the end of my turn I tried to rally my uh, remaining neophyte. Not three. I think so. We we'll look it up. Yeah. Maybe to be sure. To heavily reduce this what size. But we we'll look it up. And that's the end of my third turn. And on to the last turn now. Yeah, my last turn. This will be a difficult one. So it's getting really interesting. My final turn, I've already moved my troops. They remained on overwatch because they wouldn't be able to reach the objective anyway uh, in order to get away to get into cover and out of sight of the enemy's three remaining heavy bolters one of which would have killed at least two of them for sure i jumped into cover behind the house and Bunker. Oh, the bunker. <laughs> and we'll try my luck here. Yeah, um, I've just discussed it with Alex. I could use crack grenades at strength 6 and minus 3, but on the other hand, crack is minus 1. So I would have to hit 3, 2 hits on 4 plus, whereas if I do the bolt pistols, I've got 3 shots at plus 2 for short range. So they are on 2s. I'll try my luck with the bolt pistols. Otherwise, I'll be torn apart. Okay, three times on twos. Okay, two hits. Strength toughness, four versus four is on fours. One gene stealer should be dead in case yeah. it doesn't pass for roll a six. So, two gene stealers. Yeah, yeah, but they can technically wipe out the remaining. The yeah. Because if they charge several ah, ones or two follow up moves. One thing to mention we checked. Uh, the remaining neophyte and he really uh, is completely removed the squad if it's reduced to 25% or less. I think we played this for wrong. 20 years wrong. Yeah. Uh, we always took practice to the bitter end. Uh, but remember that if you play second edition war games, uh, if a squad is reduced by any means to below 25% and it breaks, it's completely removed as casualty. Uh, I think it's, it's not just 20 because we started around 16, so it, yeah. 30 oh, years so old. old. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> We're getting old. Okay. Okay, and now is the revenge of the gene stealers after Alex's movement turn. Okay, last turn of the game. Um, we just discussed a little bit. Um, my Chinsilla could have, at least one of them could run around the assault squad in order to reach the mission objective, but I think it was very lame. And, and uh, in, uh, in second uh, consideration, the heavy bolters are an overwatch. So Marcus will get off two shots with his heavy bolters, although he will receive a minus one to hit because of moving more than 10 inches at fast and minus one from emerging from cover. So. Maybe they wouldn't have hit, but if they hit, I think the Jesus were vaporized. So I decided a very turn it like thing and charged into the enemy. That we have at least one close combat in this whole and more have a battery report. More biomaterial. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the single close oh, combat. Yes. 
to reassemble in a fashion they like. Okay, I've got four attacks. Yep. Which one is going first? Single. Okay. 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 One six, can you please parry? Because I think the surviving one. I think it wasn't a six. Uh, that's bad because. We can look it up in the video and be back. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, as you have seen, the battle no um, fraction reached the critical mission objective, so we decided it was a draw. And I think uh, if you calculate the victory points for both sides, we'll get three victory points for destroyed units. So even if we uh, would have counted the victory points, it would have been a draw as well. And I think there's a similar point value left on both sides. Mm. I think there are around 182 points left in my Devastator squad, a little more than 200 lost with uh, the Assault squad. And you've got at least 50, more than 50 points alone in Gene Stealers left, and then the others with the, the Heavy Bolters. Yeah, really incredible uh, how strong the Gene Stealers are if they reach close combat. Yeah. With the weapon skill 7 and 4 attacks, it's really, even if the enemy can parry him once, um, if you roll normal, then you didn't stand a chance. I, I, I did a, a game on my Solo Hammer channel where a, a squad of Deathwing fought against uh, two broods of chain stealers. I was uh, kind of unlucky because I rolled three James for the assault cannon, but even if I if I hadn't done so, I think it would have been bad. Although I had included one with the lightning claws and the sergeant had a, a um, power sword in order to be able to parry. But even uh, with a terminator armor, I think with the minus three save modifier mm -hmm. due to the high strength. So and the yeah. amount of hits oh. is yeah very yeah, difficult to be safe. There are yeah. many captains with weapon skill seven and four attacks, so. But I'm lucky there are at least some devastators left to tell the tale of their missing brethren yeah. and what or happened to the colony. To, the, <laughs> to retake the bunker building. Yeah, next time you'll see a really large 40k game. So it was a kind of nice distraction for us after having read for hours for our last large Warhammer Fantasy game. And uh, you can really look forward to our next one. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.